So this is a trim tool. Basically what they do is put it into like any trim piece on a car, for example, right? Uh, also works on like other types of vehicles too, like a pickup truck, for example. And basically you just slide it in between the paneling and the idea is you're kind of going along the paneling to feel for when there's one of the fir trees or the uh, plastic uh, clips. And then basically what you do is you slide it in and then pry upward or downward depending on how the clip is oriented to pull off the piece of trim. The reason why we do this is to identify the true VIN number on 82 and 83 vehicles, actually 83 vehicles, 82 shouldn't be a problem. Right. They should have the true VIN number, but on the same thing with 81s. Right. So the 83s were um, revinned, re 82s, and the true VIN number is always going to be behind the headliner here on the door. On Should be on both sides. Unless your door was replaced, and then may or may not somewhat match the uh, 16 or 17 number scheme. Some do, some don't. Should, it's supposed to. It's supposed to, yep. But you know, sometimes they, when they revend, you know, they took cars from, they were sitting out, and didn't necessarily always work out that way. Yep, and for the 83s, another reason why, uh, another identif identification is that the VIN plate here on the dash was glued on. Originally, they were riveted on with the old VIN number. They pried those off and just created some new VIN plates and just glued them on. Yeah, I've gotten a bunch of free stuff. And yeah, no, I know, it's funny. And then just Danny's like, oh. Door panel in order to identify the true VIN number of the car. Yep. We've got the proper tool. And what VIN number do we have here? Investigation. Oh, 11097. So the VIN number. VIN 11097. And this is 16095. Interesting. Okay, so they uh, are off by a couple digits, but whatever. So there it is. There you have it. VIN 11097. What are the other numbers? Uh, the key code. So this. Well, that's. I'm so glad I'm sharing this with the public. <laughs> this, is the, this is the key code. Key code seven two eight three. That doesn't yep. match my key. Thanks. So now we're removing the passenger side because the driver's side did not have the. Uh, at least we don't think it had the correct VIN number, but passenger side being the original factory door should have the original VIN number of the car on there. Yeah, some of them are popping off. It's interesting too, so I shouldn't do that. There you go. Yep, there you go. There it is. Yep. VIN 11109. <laughs> 11109 and now it's 16109 so that makes sense yep so all they did was just change uh, the second digit correct <laughs> deal with that <laughs> That's it. All right, Ted, there you go. There it is. There it is. <laughs> so there's the VIN number. All right.